Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, I channeled the Tantric exercise today for, for moments when we feel that our energy field, our electromagnetic field is getting out of hand. And so it works very well with couples and uh, it can work also with grown uh, two men, two women, a man and a woman, as long as they're over the as long as they've reached the age of puberty. And uh, if you have no person like that to, to do this tantric exercise with, you can do it facing, say, a statue of the Virgin Mary, or a picture of Christ, or, or a statue of the Buddha, or even a candle flame, or a flower, or a leaf. Anything that, that gives you inspiration, a beautiful picture of earth, anything. So, so you can use that image, that uplifting image, as your tantric partner. So, now here's what to do. It's very simple. <laughs> it's, very, it's a lot of fun, too. But you must follow directions. It's very important to follow directions. So you're sitting up straight, say on a dining room chair, and across from you, very close, but close, with your knees close together, but not touching, is your tantric partner. Your hands are on your, on your, um, on your knees, palms down, and your spine is erect, but your muscles are very relaxed, okay? So, let's try it like this. Um, first, Inhale completely. Exhale completely. <sighs> Inhale completely. Exhale completely. And once more. Inhale completely. Exhale completely. <sighs> and now our prayer. May only the very highest energy be channeled through this tantric exercise. May I recognize my own energy field as the majestic, self-contained energy field that it truly is. Okay, so now, hands on the knees. You must look your tantric partner directly in the eye. Do your very best not to blink. But if you do blink, just open your eyes again and look steadily at your partner. Now, feel your physical heart. This is the last thing. Feel your physical heart. You're still looking directly at your partner. Try not to blink. Your, your hands are on your knees. Your, your knees are not quite touching the knees of your partner. And, um, let's see, um, so the chant is like this, you're each chanting together. God bless me, 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 God bless me. So it's just like that. Feel your physical heart. Look directly at your partner, or if not your partner, the flower or the picture or the statue. Okay? And so, continue. If you have no training in Kundalini Yoga or any other kind of yoga or meditation for only one minute, this is a very powerful exercise. Okay? If you've tried it a few times, three minutes. If you have experience, you can do it for 11 minutes. All right. So, if you're a very experienced yogi, then you'll know when to stop. It can be a little longer, maybe 31 minutes, maybe 60, 62 minutes. All right. So, but everybody else, one minute or three minutes, maximum 11 minutes. Stop if you start to feel even a little bit peculiar, okay? This is just for your own heart. So, when you finish, you look your partner in the eye and you say, thank you very much. Think of the very highest 
It might be your own highest self. It might be the image that you have of God or of Christ. And say thank you very much. Okay. One more thing. Let's say you have no image of God whatsoever. Okay. Then, let me think. Take an image from the natural world. And as you chant, instead of saying, God bless me, say, say, I love my heart. Everybody has a good heart. And so, I love my heart. So, if you have no religion, if you prefer it like that, then just say, I love my heart instead. Okay, so that should cover everybody. And it works very well in those moments when the energy gets very strong. The energy of, of ascension gets very strong and we need to channel it. We need to, we need to contain it. We need to channel it. And instead of acting out, what we're doing is we're sitting and we're consolidating our energy field. Okay, God bless you all. I hope all works out well. I hope you like this meditation. I had wonderful fun with it just now. So, Take care. Love you lots.